What's up everyone? My name is Chelsea and we are in, I think, week five of quarantine? Honestly, it's hard to know what day it is anymore. But I do know that school is canceled for the rest of the year, which is totally crazy. And you're probably getting more and more bored as the days go on. On top of that, being stuck in the house with your family who knows all of your buttons to press, I'm sure is not making this the most exciting time of your life. You might be thinking, even if everyone stays healthy in the season, I am not sure everyone is going to survive. Honestly, if I was in quarantine when I was a kid with my three siblings, I know that's exactly what I would be thinking. But for me in this season now, I am determined to not only survive, but to thrive in it. And so what's the difference between surviving and thriving? Well, surviving is just getting through it. It takes a toll on you, and you're worse after it than you were before it. You literally are just getting through each day, and it's not a great situation for you or for anyone else around you. It's more negative, self-focused, not helpful. Just surviving leaves you feel beat up and bad. You're alive, but you're definitely not your best. Thriving, though, is so much more. It makes the best out of every day, coming through this better than you were before. It's looking for the good in the middle of whatever comes and helping others have a great experience too. Thriving is positive, it's uplifting, it's helpful to everyone involved, it is not selfish, and it makes life better. So no matter where you're at or what situation your family is in, we all have a choice to make. I can either survive or thrive in my family. Now, I'm sure none of us would intentionally choose to just survive when we have the option to thrive, but I know some of us are just gonna fall into this trap because it comes more naturally. See, survivors worry about themselves, thrivers worry about others. And so here are a few examples of what just surviving might look like in quarantine. I hate cleaning my room. Mom, I'm done! Mom, what are you doing? God, I'm playing a game. Can't you see this? Stop, come on, you're gonna mess me up. No, 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 no. Oh, come on, Mom. What? I'm hungry, right? Now, I know probably all of us have reacted in a few of those ways in the last couple of weeks. Playing video games, watching TV, eating, sleeping, these are all not bad things. But do you see how negative they can become when we just go through the motions? When we're only thinking about ourselves or when we let our fear control us? See, survivors are influenced by situations. Thrivers do the influencing. You have the power where you're at to influence your family and those around you. You might think, look, you do not know my people. They are literally the worst, especially my younger siblings are driving me nuts. Look, I get it. This time of life is really hard. And you're right. I don't know everything about your situation and family. But what I do know is that God is bigger than all of this. And he wants to use you to be a light in the darkness, in your home, with your family. You have influence. Whether you know it or not, you're influencing those around you every day. You can either use it for good or bad. You can either be a thriver or just a survivor. Now, if you want to thrive in your family, there's a key thing that you must do, and we can find that in Philippians chapter 2, verse 4. It says, Don't look out for only your interest, but take an interest in others too. It's that simple. When we aren't just focusing on ourselves, and we care for others too, and trying to make their quarantines as good as can be, we begin to thrive. We're then influencing others for good. Our attitudes get better, our communication, our relationships get better too. When we choose to look out for and care for other people, influencing them in a positive way, it really becomes a win-win for everybody. Need a few ideas on ways that you can thrive in your family in this season? Well, here's a few. So one easy way that you can thrive in this situation and bless your family in the process is cook on breakfast. I'm gonna teach you how to make scrambled eggs. It is super easy. All you need is to grab an egg, crack it, add a little bit of milk. I like salt and pepper to taste, so you can add that if you like, and then mix it on up until it's nice and mixed. And go ahead and put it in your pan and let it cook. All you do is mix it as it cooks, and in no time, we're gonna have our scrambled eggs. And there you have some delicious scrambled eggs. 
Another great option is taking your dog for a walk without being asked. Come on, Lola, come on! You could even learn a new hobby. Like, I learned how to crochet in this, which has been a ton of fun, and I made a blanket for my niece Avery. And you know what, since that time, I've been able to teach my mom how to do it, and now she is making this beautiful blanket because we learned how to do a craft together. You have the time now, you can exercise with your family. You can walk together, jog, lift weights if you even have them, because you don't want to get the COVID-19. <sighs> you could even read a good book. This one's amazing. Guys, there are countless things that you can do positively to influence those around you and to thrive in your family and in quarantine. These are just a few. But I know if you do even one of these things every day, it will be such a blessing and encouragement to the people around you. And look, I'm right here with you. I am choosing every day to make the most of quarantine too, to think of others and to thrive in this. I know you can do it. We definitely won't be perfect at it and that's okay. Just keep choosing to thrive, not just survive. When we do that, we will have a better experience through this. We will be so much better when this is all over and life goes back to normal. Look, I believe in you. I love you all. I'm praying for you, and I can't wait to see you again. Have a great week.